What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. It is Future Stars um, Team 2. I'm a bit disappointed with the season players and I'm a bit disappointed with the academy player that's out there right now. Of course, if you guys want my kind of full breakdown on that, go over to the main channel and the information is there. However, um, Saka has been put into Team 2. I know he's quite expensive. Uh, right now in fact he's very expensive uh, I believe he's, he's well over a million coins but I want him I want him in the team I want you know we can use we could switch to the 451 we could put Tavernier back in the team we could link him to Rooney and uh, we'll probably take out Bruno Fernandes for Saka um, oh he's a uh, he's not coming through as a special oh he's extinct wow he's extinct at 2 million Jesus. So we got a lot of grinding to do to get him. Obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen quickly, but I most certainly want him. But before we get into that, we have got some packs. Premium gold, a couple of primes, a jumbo premium gold, ju just for some league SBC stuff. You know, nothing nothing too major. Uh, we've just got 11 packs there. Um, hopefully, we can pack something nice. Um, I believe there's a couple of tradable packs out of this as well, but mostly untradable. And then we're going to go and do some player picks as well uh, to end off the video to see if um to see if we can hit one of these future stars cards and then i've got two games for you for today and i'll listen i'm just going to pre-warn you guys i'm salty and i won them both right but i'm salty in them because i just don't enjoy the way people play this game um at a high level of feet or even just at any level of fifa these days I, I just really don't enjoy it and so um i was kind of making that clear in no uncertain terms during the gameplay uh and you know if that's not your thing maybe you want to skip the gameplay today i don't know but if you do want to hear my uh absolutely true unedited opinions on the gameplay right now then it will be there for you and then yeah as i say after the, you see the two games we'll end off with uh, i might be able to build four or five i don't know I, I don't have many rare golds in the club i've got a fair few common golds in the club although a lot of those are um a lot of those are tradable that I don't want to put into upgrade packs that I want to sell of course if we're now going to be looking to work towards probably somewhere close to a million maybe 1.3 1.4 million for Saka by the time his price settles down um that that's probably when uh that you know that's when we have to sit here now and say look I, I can't I can't waste a coin like we've got to be super super efficient with this um, in terms of coins and wasting coins as well, guys, I tell you, I've still got marquee matchups to go as well, which is quite nice. I'll tell you something with regards to uh, West Brom, right? The West Brom Silvers have had their price range changed to 30,000 coins, which means for the four of them that you need to buy, you are going to pay 120,000 coins minimum and probably about 150,000 coins for the entire SBC. 150,000 coins. For one segment of an SBC that gives you an untradable 125k pack back. I cannot urge you guys enough to just not do it. Unless you get the West Brom players untradable, just don't do it. It is 1 million percent not worth it in the slightest, right? You are better off just buying an ultimate pack with coins and selling everything that you get out of it. It's, it's just terrible, right? It's just terrible. Um... That's not bad there. We get a Tagliafico. Uh, we get a uh, Campbell card there as well. People ask me a lot as well, why do I keep throwing away consumables? I only throw away ones that I know I'll never need because I already have lots of them untradeable. But like the striker center forward card, I do keep plenty of consumables. Um, oh, it's only a loan pack. Never mind. I do keep... Oh, I've already got a duplicate untradeable rare. Do I want to keep hold of him? Is he... Tra oh, he's tradable. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'll keep the, the consumables that are valuable, but I have like already a hundred untradable contracts, um, that I really can't do anything with other than use them. Um, and so what I just tend to do is just discard them until I start running low and then I'll start saving them for a little bit as well. Now, Saka has a common gold base card. So we got a real good opportunity of actually packing him from this 25k pack, the 245k packs. And more importantly, and maybe even more impressively, the um, right, he's tradable. The um, 
the premium, the Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack, which is the 50k pack with 25 items in it. I'm not saving one gold. I do apologize, but I'm not doing it for one gold. This this one here, 24 gold items, seven rares. But because Saka comes out as a common as well as a rare, there's just potential to pack him in that. And and I think there's a fair few of them as well. Obviously, it would be nice. We haven't actually packed um, a future stars yet. We've got three of them. We've got Dalot twice. Ooh, Messi, Lingard. Let's go. We've got Dalot twice. Um, and we got um, Dest as well. Of course, defenders only, you know, as, as, as per usual. Uh, but we're actually yet to physically pack one. So it would be nice if we could physically pack one. Oh, Vanekin's tradable. That's nice. Um... Let's pop him in. Ortega, tradable as well. Very nice. I've done a lot of 5k pack method, guys. My coins pretty much have just gone up. Um, not not by much and not quickly, but they are going up. So come on here. Give us a walkout. Walkout. Come on. It's not Future Stars. It's not a special card at all. German. Centimid. Tony Cross. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Nice little 88 for if we did if we did want to do Curtis Jones, which I'm not saying I do want to do him. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't want to do him. But if we did want to do him. We've got an 88 Tony Kroos there. We've got a Zhao Cancelo I'm not interested in keeping. Ishmaili, untradeable as well. Uh, Big Leah can go. And uh, Sergio Alvarez can go. Very nice. I'm just going to throw these two away. I know I could probably go and do a player of the month or whatever, but I'm not interested in that. And then a rare player's pack, guys, before we get into some gameplay. Let's see what we get out of this one. No walk out here today. It is a board. It is an informed board. Watch it be Lingard again. You, you, you I, come on, EA man. At least be like, maybe I should go. Maybe I should have kept that uh, Cancelo because I could have used Lingard. Now I'm gonna have to throw him away. But there you go, guys. So here's some gameplay, and then we're gonna be back with some player pick packs. Uh, George, you, thank you for the stars, man. Alex, thanks for the stars as well, man. Much appreciado. That's a joke. That's a joke. Ryan, you can You gotta go downstairs, buddy. There it is. All right. This game, man. This game. Oh, my God, man. Oh, I just, like, FIFA is just such a horrible game now, guys. It really is. It's just not a good game to play anymore. Jesus Christ, man. Let's go, man. Come on. Jesus Christ. There we go. It's game over. As if he scored off of that. Can't help himself, guys. Look at him just backing off. Basically full time. Look, he's, he's given up. He's literally stopped playing. People just can't help themselves. Help, can't help themselves. First game, and I want it to be the last already. Horrible, horrible gameplay, that is. Horrible gameplay. Lewa and Ronaldo with two goals each. Very, very nice. Very nice. I mean, that was, that was that was a tough game, to be fair. His passing was very good. He didn't really hold much possession. He had four shots, scored three goals from them. Oh, that's a nice team, isn't it? Give me the annoyer in there as well. Ah, oh, Van Dijk, go about. There it is. Oh, lovely goal from Rooney, that. Right place, right time kind of guy. Trade devil's advocate. If winning doesn't matter too much, why does it matter if you need to steal a 1-0 win? For the record, I don't play one depth. Just a part of the discussion. No, see, for me, like, it comes to a point of... Listen, win winning is important, but enjoyment is also important. And I know some people get enjoyment out solely out of winning. And I, I suppose there have been times where that used to be me. You know, I used to only be happy if I would win. But I think back to the start of this game cycle, right? 
the start of FIFA 21, we was playing division rivals. We was playing so many games because the gameplay was just fun. The meta hadn't been discovered yet. Crossing was viable. You, you could literally play in any different way. And it was fun. And so even though I was getting taking losses sometimes, winning, it was just fun. You know, it, and that was enjoyable. And so a lot of people need to uh, need to win to have fun. And that's fair enough, right? But I would rather not play than win and it not be fun. And it, it, like that last game that we just won, listen, we dominated that game. And, and in the end, it was a comfortable victory. But I had I didn't have fun. I didn't come out of that game satisfied or anything. And that's not because I won or lost, right? You know, I guess it goes to prove that just winning isn't fun. Because if winning was the sole kind of like, um, the sole kind of perpetrator of fun, so to speak, I, I should have come out of that game and think, yeah, that was fun. I won. Doesn't matter how my opponent played. I won. I, I had fun. Um, but the way these people play, and I don't blame them, I, you know, is it falls on EA. But the way that these people play, it's it, win or lose. It's just not fun, and so there's no point playing. And so that's why I don't play. Oh, what block that is. Yeah, in the, remember in the early game, guys, we was using Romelu Lukaku, and he was absolutely mental. He was so good. Enref, let's go. What pen that is. Nice finish that. Can't believe he scored that after I tackled him as well. Oh, Lewandowski with the first time. Banger, boys. Let's go. Oh, that's beautiful. That's level with a hat trick. I think it's a hat trick anyway. It might be four. And only two minutes remaining here. Oh, big chance. Lewandowski. It's another one. Let's go. GG's 2 0. But first first opponent was considerably worse than this the, this opponent here. Yeah, this opponent because he didn't sit with eight men in his box. Even though he was a better all-round player. Six goals for Lewa. My days. And he got the assist on the goal that he didn't score as well. Unbelievable scenes. Ronaldo with just the two assists. Oh, that was a controlled game, that was. He had two shots, two goals. It's crazy. All right, guys. So, to end off today's road to glory. Um, we got five player picks. Is it going to be enough for us to get... Oh, a Gulashi to start with. Now, he's already owned, but... Curtis Jones has an 83 rated squad that we might we might grind towards. Um, oh my god, a Kai Havertz. Our luck out of these player pick packs has generally been brilliant. We we always seem to get super high rated in these. Uh, I have still got marquee matchups to go, guys. We'll have that in the next video. An 84 Berkey as well. Come on, EA man. Bless me with the future stars. Oh god. All right, never mind. We started off good and it's just gone downhill from there. Latan Ibrahimovic and Steve. So those five player picks are up. Listen, that's not bad, man. You know, two eighty fives, an eighty four, and an eighty three from five picks. You don't mind that at all. I've got a lot to grind out of the club. Like right now, I just want to show you guys actually um, on the web app. Uh, I want to show you where we're at with players, right? Because I, last when I was playing around with it the other day, yesterday or the day before, just doing some bronze upgrade packs and stuff. Uh, if I remember correctly, I was at around three thousand players. Now, I don't have particularly too many golds anymore, right? I've got quite a lot of golds now just from the 5k pack method. Oh, so what? Did I just back out of it? Um, yeah, I've, I've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of golds now because of the 5k pack method. But I have probably got a thousand, somewhere around there, untradeable um, silver players 
that don't mean anything to me. They're from off leagues and and car, like SBCs, like leagues that don't have SBCs and stuff, which is really, really good because I can do the three player upgrade packs with a chance to get Saka and use those in the player pick packs and two player upgrade packs. Uh, but here we are. So when we look at club, look at that, 3,071 items. And if we just go, if we go for untradables only and quality silver and have a look, you're looking at now ignore let's ignore the first page which is 20 right so we've got 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 2 20 40 60 80 300 already like it, it's just non-stop non-stop untradeable silvers right now of course some of these guys are good for league sbc so i wouldn't use them but there are so many here that we can just craft into upgrade packs to get rid of, whittle the club back down to under maybe 500 players uh, and try and have our best opportunity at packing some of the good cards. And that all comes from obviously bronze packs, upgrade packs, the league SBC grinding and so on and so forth. Um, I've actually got a couple, I did the I did the um, Saudi league today. I've actually got a couple of other leagues that are in good, uh, good spirits. I think mostly the Chinese league. I only completed it the other day. But when I checked at how many Chinese league players I had, it was loads and look at that for this club already there's eight of them there so uh, we got a lot to do we got a lot to grind for hopefully we're going to manage to pack um some more future stars but that for today guys is going to be the end of the video so if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and for now guys i'm out peace